very hot again. Right, now we're still on and on Petchaburi, so Petbury Road. Petchaburi or Petbury, okay? So we're on Petbury Road and we're here looking at Kawasaki motorcycles. They've got a major showroom here. Now, I don't know whether they've got a major display of motorbikes here at the moment because there was a big motorbike show the other day and uh, I'm looking through the window and it looks like they haven't got anything here yet. Uh, I may be wrong. I'll go and have a look in a minute. Um, but if you're looking there's Kawasaki there, okay, that's their major showroom, major offices here. They've moved from where I used to live on Paramgao, uh, they've moved from Paramgao, they've moved here to Pepperie Road, okay. So it's a little bit uh, more difficult to find, um, but the showrooms are here, and I'm just going to show you what I mean now. So you can see just on the other side of the road there, there's the uh, main Kawasaki uh, building here. We've got a big showroom here, big service centre. And you'll see it's right at the end of this road here. That's Petbury Road at the end there. So it's very, very easy to find, okay? This is called Danon Petraram, okay? Now, let's see if I can show you from here. The sun's really bright today, so just so you know where you are. I'm going to have a look at the top there. Danon Petraram, okay? That one there, so you can get a look on that. So that'll give you an idea where you are. I'm going to try and cross the road without getting killed, which is always my problem. I'm surviving so far, so that's good. So here we go again, look, you can see Kawasaki just here. That's not Kawasaki. <laughs> that's my bike. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a little look in. Uh, like I say, I'm not sure about the models they've got here um, because there was a big motorbike show uh, and car show up until recently. So maybe they haven't got the motorbikes back from that event yet. Here we are on the other side of the road safely negotiated and we've got Kawasaki here okay so I've got Kawasaki service in here and we've got their little showroom over here uh, it's actually a very nice place because there's places where you could meet up here like a lot of the showrooms they're putting a lot of thought into them um, we're going to be concentrating a lot on motorbikes because we're going to use that as our main mode of transport of getting around our main motor transport for videoing and for our road trips and so on and so on okay so there's something we're going to be building on but you can see here you know you've got nice little seats outside shaded meet your friends here go and check out the latest models and take up from there so that's what we're going to do we're going to go inside and with their permission we'll video some of the bikes okay and the showroom so we're inside Kawasaki showroom and it's really nice. They they got um, quite a nice um, range of bikes here, not the complete range obviously, and you can't buy bikes from here. It's just the showroom, but they do have a list of all their uh, approved dealers here. There's about six or eight around Bangkok that they approve. Okay, so. If you have a look behind me, you'll start seeing some of the bikes. They've got some of the 300cc bikes and the 650s, like Verse and they've got some of their uh, bigger ones, 1000cc as well. So, not the full range, but I'll give you an idea. But you know, the main thing is, is the showroom and the people try to uh, communicate with you and they try to talk to you, okay? And that, that's the main thing. Even if they can't speak that much English, they try, okay? And that's all you can ask people to do. Unless it's grab taxi, but I'm not talking about that. <laughs> we'll go over that again. <laughs> okay, so, here are some of the bikes here. 
looking down the range here from from the uh, the ZX 14R. It's a beautiful bike, okay. And then the thousand CC versus Tora 651 next to it. These are actually it's this is for me the the perfect bike for Thailand and Lao because it's like dual capability if you like you know you can if the road gets a little bit rough it'll handle it you know you've got plenty of storage on the back here with these aftermarket Kawasaki boxes and panniers they're really nice um, and if you are thinking about taking a passenger in this little backrest for them there okay so if you've got your wife on the back of there, you'll be okay. <laughs> or maybe just go by yourself, it's easier. <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay, so you see the, the standard of stuff here? It's just exceptional. It's really, really nice. These bikes, I really like them because they are very, very comfortable too. So like I say, these, these are great for me because the dual purpose, you've, you've got the ability when the roads get really bad the, the suspension on them a little bit of ground clearance a bit of protection underneath and then yeah it's fine what I would do probably always would put some some extra crash bars on the sides here and on the bottom put something to protect the sump under there some sort of aluminium or something just to be double double safe for any loose rocks or big rocks that you may come across because it does happen okay even when you're not intentionally off-roading so these what I would call perfect bike for doing some touring in uh, Laos and Thailand would I call this one a perfect a perfect bike for Thailand I think it's a perfect bike but not for Thailand I don't think you could put that to its uh, full capabilities because the road surface is just so bad you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't feel comfortable myself on that and um, something like this yeah that's cool and a little Kawasaki Vulcan that's good it's comfortable too and the little 300z you know that's a nice bike for the city and going touring around i think that's very good they're doing a 300 per se now which is very really nice um i'm very interested in that i'm very interested in most bikes but <laughs> i never afford one <laughs> and then we've got an unusual color here we've got an unusual blue Okay, which is yeah different for, for Kawasaki. Usually we associate with being green, but it's cool. You see, they got a little section over here for food, dessert, food, clothing. I'm looking at the food in there because I'm going to get some water in a minute. <laughs> so you've got everything you want here. It's very comfortable, very good, very nicely laid out, and real friendly staff. So if you want to come here and check things out, then you can do. So, if you're planning on a Kawasaki, this is where you can come and check everything out and find out where the dealers are, okay?